Hello my friends, crazy things are happening in AI that you need to know about and that's why I'm here. Let's get started. The first thing we need to check out is this fantastic project here. It is an interface between Claude and Appleton Live, which is a doll for music creation. And this will create the tracks for you that sets the instruments. It will create the MIDI notes for you, everything. So you can use AI to create music. But this is the way I always wanted AI to create music because here you have afterwards full control over editing the notes, the effects, the synths, the presets, everything you want, 100% control. Now when you go back here a little bit, you can now when we go back here a little bit in that video, you can see here it's creating a clip. It is setting the clip name. It's adding the notes to that. It is browsing items at the path and so on and so on. So this is actually creating everything you need to have inside of this different tracks with the instruments, the filters and so on. Now the cool thing is you can download and use that right now because these are GitHub projects. And I'm saying projects because there are actually two of them. Now the first one here is that one that you have seen in the video and this is the GitHub page. There's a description here on how to use that, how to install it to make everything happen for you so you can use it right away on your computer. And then there is also this second project here by Simon Kanzara. And this one is actually older. It's from last month. And here again, you have basically the same thing, a Claude interface for Appleton Live. And there you see the requirements, how to install and set everything up so that you can use it locally. That is pretty amazing. Now let's go to the second news and that is that CG Dream, which I have recently shown you, has added a ton of new LoRa styles, which they call filters. And when we go through here, you can see there is a lot of stuff to unravel, a lot of different interesting things to look at. Many, many new LoRa's that you can use, that you can also combine on their website. I will show you in a second how the results can look like from that. And you can see many, many LoRa's trained on different subjects, on different styles, on different facial expressions also. So there's lots of stuff to integrate. And here on the website, we have the interface on how to create that. Down here, you have the filter, many, many filters here. Up here, you have a search where you can search for the specific name of the filter. And when you look here on the side, you can also adjust the strength of the LoRa as you would imagine this will happen. Now, here we have an example for, for example, the map generation LoRa. Here I wanted to have a top down of a city center. Looks pretty cool. Very amazing result from that. But you can also have other results like this one. It looks a little bit more like a video game, but I think you can still use it either to create your game map for an app or to use it for your tabletop gaming experience. Another filter they have are these fantasy gates. And I would say again, they look pretty amazing. As you know, I'm a big fan of these gates, especially considering round gates, which is not easy to do for AI. And personally, I really also love round gates. Another filter I found very impressive are these old style Asian art paintings, even simulating the old faded paper with the different color patches in there. So also that is really nice. And as a last example, also look at different gaming characters here. Again, different perspectives of the same character looks really nice and nicely trained filter for that. Here's another news you might be interested in. It looks like ChatGPT Plus for $20 now has unlimited videos. Now, personally, I could not see that on my upgrade option. This might be limited just to the US, but here you can see that this is something they are rolling out. And it's pretty exciting, even though Sora might not be the most amazing AI model. Still, this gives you a lot of video creation for just $20 a month just for everybody who's interested in learning Python. I find personally that Pact is a pretty good publisher when it comes to coding learning books. This is Humble Bundle, where you get 21 books for under 18 euros or dollars. That's a really good deal. I'm not affiliated with that page, but 
I bought that bundle for myself and I thought you should know about that too. This starts with learning books but also has expert books in there. Check out the link because that is a very very good bundle and the last time I've seen that bundle is about a year ago so they don't have it that often. The next news that came as a big surprise to me is image editing inside of Google AI Studio. Now this is very important to point out here that Google AI Studio is not the same thing as Gemini or Gemini Advanced. This is actually a different website. I know it's a little bit confusing, but well, once you're in there, you will also see that you can do a lot more things because the AI Studio is done for a different purpose than Gemini. Now, one thing you want to consider here to be able to use that is here on the right side where it says models, you have to click on that and you have to select the Gemini 2 flash image generation model because the other models cannot do image editing. Now here you have a test photo of myself and surprise this I thought is a photo of myself and then I thought hey when did I take a photo of myself in front of a black wall and I checked the EXIF data on that photo and there was no EXIF data and then I figured out this is an actual generation by FreePick trained on my photos. Pretty stunning because it looks 100% like me. And here you can see the same image with a replaced background. Now, to be honest, personally, I want to point out here that there is no ambient light, so it doesn't actually look like I'm in that jungle, but it put a very nice jungle into the background with a very good cutout around me. And here to be a little bit cooler, I wanted to have some sunglasses and I have to say they look pretty cool and it's a pretty amazing effect. It fits completely on my hat, but the reflection of the lights maybe shouldn't be that hard. And while we are at it, why not add some hair to my hat? Now, to be honest, if I have some hair on my hat, I kind of look like Matt Wolfie a little bit. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you thought this is everything, you would be so wrong because I also want to show you Unit. Now Unit is amazing. I love the visual design of this and what that is is actually visual coding, but so beautiful. You can see here in this little animation, you can drag and drop and do with that the visual coding, create complex algorithms, complex like paths where the code is going. I'm not a coder. I can't really tell you how specifically to phrase that, but it just looks really cool and it looks very, very useful. Again, this is a GitHub project. So when you scroll down here, you have a lot of information, including the library here and also including how to install everything so that you can get this beast running and then do some visual coding for yourself. Very amazing. By the way, when it comes to language AIs like ChatGPT or Gemini, I have a bone to pick. I have a suggestion to make here and that is I don't want to have a linear chat. I want to have the option to go backward and forward like a real conversation, but also have a mind map over the path of my conversation. So here I created something like that inside of Flora Fauna AI. I already made a video about that AI interface. It's a simplified version. It kind of like works like ConfUI, but way, way simpler. It only has three nodes. One of them is for text. And here I'm having a conversation. So you can see here I'm asking about the concept of Maya in Buddhism and Hinduism because I'm interested in that so I ask different questions on the implications on what it means on sub questions stuff like that so that I can go through that conversation but then I can also go back to parts of the conversation ask a second or third or more questions about a detail in that prior question so I can loop back and I can afterwards maybe connect the outputs of multiple answers to answer to ask a new question about these multiple answers together so that we have a more complex and deeper interaction but also less repetition and I feel this could be not only a really good solution, but also afterwards give me a really nice oversight 
over the conversation and the data produced during the conversation. And here's another very interesting AI news. This is Kai Fu Li. He's the former president of Google China, and he's talking about how open source AI will win the future. Because he says on one side, the closed source projects are too expensive to actually be worth it. But on the other hand, also, they are way more open source sources and people working on that. And of course, globally computers to create these amazing projects. So over the long run, open source might win the race, which I think is a really amazing perspective and also hopefully is the truth because open source gives everybody the access to AI that they want to have, but also makes AI more balanced because there are not limited biased perspectives behind these models from big companies or from different governments. If you have open source projects, they might have different interests, but they are open. So you can change them. You can look into the data and the communities can work on them openly. And that, of course, is a huge benefit. And if you think, dude, where have you been all the time? I've been a little bit over a week in Vietnam it was a beautiful trip away from everything, not thinking about my channel, just exploring the country. Here are some images from that trip. See you soon. Bye. Cắt đôi nỗi sầu, anh buông tay cắt đôi nỗi sầu. Anh cắt đi cả bóng hình, anh mang theo bên mình bấy lâu. Nỗi đau đã cạn, cơn mơ trong tim cũng đã tàn. Anh bán đi mọi nỗi buồn để chẳng còn gì ngoài thanh thản. Em ơi anh muốn nuôi tôi đến anh không phải thật tình Muốn quên một bóng hình em để lại trong tim Anh không thể đếm đã có bấy nhiêu đêm phải kiếm tìm Kiếm thêm một lý do cho cuộc